Hello everyone, welcome to Web Tech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add CK editor in your Laravel project. So what is CK editor? So here you can see a text state over here. So inside this text state, yeah, you can add a lot of text over here. And then you can also like add column over here like this, or you can even add image over here. Let's just choose the image from here let's click open so you can even choose the image from here as well and after adding image you can also add a few more text and you can even make a uh, table over here like this and over here you can see table you can write anything inside this table and you can even store it in the database table and show it in your website so i'm going to show you how you can add ck editor in your laravel project everything from the very beginning step by step so let me just uh, close this one and first of all uh, I have to tell you that I already created a fresh Laravel project and that project name is Laravel CK editor which is this one Laravel CK editor and inside this project I just added a student table over here and inside the student table we have the title and the description field over here so right now let's just close this so this is all i did so we just have a fresh laravel project and i just create a student table inside this project so right now first of all let's go and run our project so we'll just go to our project directory cmd over here let's over here php artisan serve and let's go to our browser press enter so this is our freshly created laravel project over here you can see so right now what we are going to do is that i'll just remove the code from the welcome.blade.php and write some code so that we can add ck editor in our laravel project so first of all let's go to our project and directly we'll go to resource then views and inside views we'll go to welcome.blade.php and we'll remove everything from here let's just say simple html and inside the body let's say h on tag we are going to say ck editor in laravel so save this then refresh our browser so we have a title over here ck editor in laravel so over here first of all we'll have a form and inside that form we have a title field and the text area field and the text area field will be the ck editor so we'll go back to our code editor then we are going to mention a form over here then inside this form let's say here div inside this div we are going to say level it will be title and for title we'll have a input field so let's say over here input type will be text and name will be title and after this let me just copy this and paste it here we are going to say over here description and we'll have a text area instead of input field so here we are going to say text area and let's give a name over here name will be description so right now we will also have a submit button over here so input type it will be submit and uh, we do not require name we'll just say over here value let's say over here add data and for the form we'll have a at the rate of csrf token so right now let's just save this and let's check our browser let's refresh our browser and we have a title and a description field and we want to make this description field into a check editor where we'll be able to like make our text bold or add images so for it we'll open new tab and over here we're going to search over here ck editor 5 and let's just go there let me just show you the ck editor main page so if you go to over here ck editor.com then you will be able to see something over here getting started you can read the docs from here if you want but we'll just directly go to the ck editor github so here we'll just over here ck editor 5 github and uh, We'll go to the first thing over here ck editor slash ck editor 5 5 powerful rich text editor frame of width so i'll just keep this link in the description so that you can just directly come over here if you want so we'll just directly go down and if we go down you will see over here this that you need to load the script for the ck editor and this is the cdn for ck editor and this is the code that we need to add in the script tag 
So over here you can see this is the CDN link. So this is the easiest way to add CK editor in our project. So we just copy this CDN link from here and we are going to paste it inside our HTML head section. And after this, let's save this and after this we'll go down over here and here you can see script CK editor this one. We'll just copy this and we are going to paste it in our code at the end of our body tag so here we'll just paste it over here and here you can see that uh, class editor create document query selector here you can see id hash editor so we need to add a id in the text area and we need to name it editor okay so here we are going to write over here id and we'll name it editor so what it will do is that it will make our text area into a ck editor so so this line is for uh, catching error so that's not important so let's just save it and right now if we just refresh our browser over here you can see it turn into a ck editor as simple as that you can add any text over here you can make it a paragraph like this or you can even add something like this as well but right now we won't be able to add any image over here if i click open here you can see nothing happened so we need to add, modify or add some code in our code editor but before that let's just modify the height of our ck editor so for it let's go back to our editor and we'll go inside the head section again and inside the head we are going to mention the style tag and inside the style tag we are going to say over here dot ck minus editor underscore underscore two underscore not single editor and then we'll say ed table underscore inline then we'll give two second bracket and here we're going to say height let's say 500 or 450 px so here you can see where is this class coming from this class is already included in the ck editor cdn so you do not have to worry you just need to write this line and it will automatically increase the height of our ck editor or text area so if we now refresh our here here you can see the text area height increased so right now let's go and fix our image upload option here you can see we cannot upload image right now so for it let's go back to our code and we'll directly go down and here you can see create document query selector editor so after this editor we are going to keep a comma over here then let's just press to enter then we'll give two second bracket over here and inside this we are going to say over here ck finder clone then two second bracket again and here okay let me just write it like this so that it looks simple over here and here I'm just trying to make it look more simple so here uh, you just need to give a comma over here then two second bracket and you need to write ck finder then two second bracket so inside this we are going to say upload url upload url then clone then we'll give to double quotation and at the end we need to give a comma and inside it we'll give two second bracket over here then we'll say route to first bracket to single quotation and we are going to say ck editor dot upload and then after the single quotation we'll give a comma then to third bracket then we are going to say over here again to single quotation then underscore token so after this token we'll give this equal and is greater than sign and right now we'll mention the csrf token so we'll say over here csrf underscore token then to first bracket so this is all you need to write over here so let me just write it like this so it looks simple right now so let me just show it in single line so this is really simple you just need to add this line over here in the ck editor so after this what we need to do is that we need to write a route uh, for ck editor dot upload so first of all we'll go to our route then web dot php and over here we are going to say route double clone it will be post then to first bracket then we are going to mention a url name let's just say over here upload then comma over here then to third bracket and here we are going to write our controller name 
I already create a controller which is home controller which name is home controller double clone class comma and let's say the function name will be upload and we'll give this arrow sign and we need to mention the name over here and the name is this one ck editor upload copy it then paste it over here so right now uh, we'll go to our home controller and write a few line of code in the function call upload so but before that let me just add the home control name over here so it's over here use app backslash http backslash con controller backslash home controller so right now let's go to our home controller so app http controller and home controller so over here we are going to mention a function over here which is public function upload to first bracket and to second bracket so over here i am going to just copy and paste some code so this is the code so we just need to write a if condition inside this upload function here first of all we are checking if it has any file if request has any file and then you can see a few line of code over here this is the normal code that we normally write in order to upload image in our laravel project this is basically the same thing we are using time function to change the file name then we are even uh, telling the path of where we want to store the image so basically the only different thing is these two lines here you can see we are storing the file inside the media folder which will be in the public folder over here so and after that we are returning a json request so it will not reload our browser it will just automatically store the image in the media folder so right now if we just save it over here let's save it over here and here so right now if we just refresh our browser we should be able to upload image right now and let's just choose a image from this one open and here you can see we are able to choose the image okay cannot upload file okay then let's just click ok okay let me just check it uh, what could be the issue uh, if we go to our home controller request has file okay i forget to add request in the upload over here you can see this is a post method so we need to add request dollar request let's save this again then let's refresh our browser again so right now we should be able to upload image in the ck editor so right now let's click on this and let's just choose a image over here let's choose this image click open and here you can see you see the tick sign over here it means this image is uploaded so right now let's try to add another image over here and let's choose this image and then click open and here you can see you are able to upload two image over here and and we even will be able to add any text over here if we want let's just text add a text and if you want to move the image we can do that as well here if i click on this here you can see we can move the image at different position so right now if we just go to our public folder and here you can see the public folder inside public folder we have the media folder which we just mentioned over here and in the media folder here you can see two image over here so we also have to upload the image so right now uh, let's say we want to upload the image in our database table or we want to upload everything we have in this text area in the database table how can we do it this is actually really simple so let me just show you so right now we will again go to our welcome.blade.php and here we will go to our form over here you can see form inside this form we are going to show what here action then method method will be post and action will be let's say over here let's say the name will be create create let's save this so right now we will write a url in the web.php so let's go to our web.php and let me just copy this paste it over here and let's remove the name from here and it will be post and the url will be create we will use home controller and let's say the function name will be create so right now we want to upload whatever we write over here in the database table 
so for it again let's go to our home controller and here we are going to mention the student model name so we are going to say use app backslash models backslash student so right now let's go down and let's mention the function name we'll say public function create to first bracket and we need to show what here request dollar request to second bracket and here we are going to say dollar student equal to new student this is the model name so right now we are going to say dollar student this arrow sign we are going to show here title as i already mentioned or as i already show you in the beginning that in the student table we have two data only title and description okay let me just show you in the table over here uh, here you can see uh, in the student table we have title and description field so right now uh, what we will do is that we are going to request a data we saw here dollar request arrow sign title so first of all uh, from the welcome.break.php here you can see name equal to title and in the text area we mentioned name equal to description we can just normally say them over here as well let me just copy this then paste it here and here instead of title we are going to say description description and after this we are just going to say dollar student arrow sign save and let's just show it here after showing the data we will say return redirect arrow sign back ok so right now let's save this and uh, let me just refresh our browser okay let's add a title let's say over here a man and uh, let's add a paragraph let's say heading on and let's set the coder over here let's just say uh, random things over here let's add a let's add different things like this and let's add an image over here let's choose this image click ok let's keep the image on the left side or in the center okay let's keep it on the left side then let's just take the down arrow and let's add another image over here and click open so we are able to add another image so we can add more text if we want over here so right now if i now just click over here add data it should be able to upload data in the database table so right now here you can see if I refresh over here, here you can see a data over here, here you can see the title is A man and here you can see description. Here let me just show you over here like this, here you can see the description is showing us like this, H2 tag, the P tag and then we have the image tag over here as you can see. So this is how CK editor help us to store data in the database table and you will be able to show every data in your browser from the ck editor so but it is a little bit different in order to show the data of the ck editor so i'll just show you how we can show the ck editor data in this tutorial as well but before that let me just tell you one more thing and that is when you are using ck editor and let me just go to the database over here database then migration then over here we'll go to the student table so here you can see i use string over here so when you are using ck editor you should use long text instead of string so it will help you to store more data in the ck editor field okay but i already use string over here so that's fine for this tutorial so right now i am going to show you how you can show data from the ck editor which is this one okay let's just add on more data random things random things and a random image from here and click open then click add data let's refresh here okay there is on more data right now so right now i'm going to show you how you can show data in from ck editor so first of all let's go and create a route over here let me just copy this and paste it over here we are going to show our here get then home controller and and let's say route name will be show and the function name will be show as well let's save this let's go to our home controller and we are going to say over here public function show 
to first bracket to second bracket and here we are going to say dollar student equal to student which is our model name double clone all so right now we'll say return view and let's say our we'll create a blade then that blade filing will be show and we are going to show it here compact to first bracket and we will show it here student uh, which is this variable so right now we will create a show.blade.php in the view so let's go to our resource resource over here resource views and inside views let's create a new file which is show.blade.php save it save and let's say normal html over here and inside the body we are going to mention a for each loop so we we'll saw here at the end of for each dollar student as dollar student and we'll in the for each loop at the end of int for each and inside it first of all let's get the title so for it we'll saw here dollar student this arrow sign title let me just copy this and paste it over here and here we'll say description description so right now if we save this then we if we just go to the route slash show in the browser let me just refresh here okay and let's say over here slash show then press enter and here you will see something like this and you can see we are able to get the title but here you can see from the description we are getting the tag name over here h2 tag p tag li tag and everything over here so right now in order to show the data from the ck editor in a proper way we need to write this uh, over here in the show.blade.php this a little bit different so here we give two second bracket over here right so here instead of this we are going to give this not sign before this description because description is for the ck editor text area so right now if we save this then if we now refresh over here here you can see you are able to get the, all the image over here properly so this is how you can add data in ck editor and also show the data from the ck editor text editor as well so i try to make this tutorial as simple as possible and i also try to explain as much as i can but if you still have any problem you can let me in the comment section and if you want more video like this so that you can learn more laravel then make sure to subscribe to this channel i will upload more educational tutorial like this in the future so make sure to give a like in this video and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next tutorial